Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is your forecast for March 23rd through the 29th, 2020. Watch us reading if you are a Cancer sun sign, Cancer moon sign, Cancer rising, Cancer on the house cusp. If you have your sun in the fourth house or your Venus in Cancer, watch us reading. Uh, guys, just as a reminder, these are general readings that may not resonate with everyone. For the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, as I always say, please come get a personal private tarot reading with me or your favorite tarot reader out there. A uh, little bit of a different format this week. I am in a different location, so I like to conserve time uh, just on the recording um, part of the reading. So the format is for this week, we're going to pull a Lenormand card at the beginning of the reading to look at what is the message that you need to hear uh, regarding this next week. What is the most important message I ask Spirit to deliver from the Lenormand? And then we're going to look at your six cards for the week ahead. And then at the end of your reading, we're going to pull the Romance Angels to see what love messages want to come through for Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising. So Cancer, your Lenormand cards are the Whip and the Tree. Um, these two cards did come out. Um, by the way, these cards are pre-shuffled, so you will not see me shuffle on camera today. Um, usually I do shuffle on camera, but uh, we just need to conserve time. So we have the Whip plus the Tree, so I'm seeing health problems coming up. For someone here. Uh, that is the meaning of this card combination. So um, <clears throat> this could have to do also with someone in the family, of course, but I am getting uh, the message here regarding health problems. The card at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. This is an Aquarian energy. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. However, I am seeing someone here who needs to think strategically. Um, this also may involve um, someone who's trying to deceive, lie, cheat, steal, etc., or needs to be sneaky. They need to do something under the radar here. Um, of course, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Let's look at your cards for the week ahead, Cancer. How you see yourself today? We have the Queen of Coins in reverse, so I am seeing someone here who may not be feeling well or may be neglecting their health. I don't feel like this could be, things are not getting done around the house or someone is feeling lazy, unloved, is hurting. Uh, this could also be someone who's very focused on their material security to the detriment of all else. So we want to watch out for that because the Queen of Coins in reverse can be very materialistic. Um, this is someone who... I would say is also neglectful of their home and family to some degree or just of their own body. So we want to make sure that we're, we're not um, doing that. Get plenty of rest. Try and eat healthy if you can. The theme for you over the next week, Cancer, and we have the Page of Cups reversed. So someone here is being a spoiled brat. You know that or someone is just very disappointed and... They may throw tantrums, they may be whining, um, complaining. Um, this also can represent a disappointing message in love. You may be dealing with a younger child here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and uh, this child or this younger person is very immature. They have difficult emotions they don't know how to handle. Um, of course, this could be you as this water sign energy, but I'm seeing... The energy of someone here or a disappointing message in love. What has cancer learned in the past? What is a lesson cancer has learned in the past that will be useful for them to remember this week? Temperance. Okay, this came up for Taurus and this is a Sag energy. Maybe you have Taurus in your chart or you know are dealing with the Taurus but anyway I just think it's interesting it's coming up in the same position here. And I recorded Taurus's reading yesterday. So with temperance, it's something you've already learned. This is about healing, deep healing. It's about staying calm. Um, it is patient energy. It is about um, making small adjustments where necessary, but not um, over compromising in any one direction. It is about the middle way. In Buddhism, it's life path eight. So it's about staying calm healing, being patient. Um, this is something you already know how to do. And here we have the elements of fire and water coming together. So some of you really do need some deep healing. Um, 
I feel like this is at a soul level. Um, I feel like some of you are at a crossroads right now and um, they want you to get centered. They want you to get grounded and you don't have to make all the decisions all at once. Most importantly, please take care of your health. The challenge you will be facing is a ton of coins. So this is around the home, the family, and inheritance, perhaps legacy. Um, it can represent a relationship that's based on emotional and financial security. I'm also seeing, like I said, a challenge around wealth here or um, <clears throat> keeping something in the family, the home, the dog, the castle, you know, the place that you um, hang your hat. So this may be part of the equation. Ten of coins. You would think it would be a very stable number, but actually the ten is over the top here. We're not at the nine, we're at the ten. So there is also some ending here when it comes to wealth, security, the family, the home, the inheritance coming up as a challenge for you this week. The lesson you're learning now, we have the emperor in reverse. If you are dealing with an Aries or a Leo, they are very controlling. They look like they have lost their power here or something that's very chaotic. You may be dealing with a father figure, a patriarch, or someone who is a boss. Um, this person is just out of control. They're not exhibiting good leadership or um, they, they are not following the rules or there are boundaries here that are not being observed. Also, this is someone who, because they feel out of control or they lack control, will overcompensate by, they can be abusive, yes. They might be taking their rage out on other people or trying to control other people. The very, very controlling energy when I see this card. Um, a lesson around that would be um, this person doesn't know what they're doing and they have they cannot lead they cannot lead the organization they um, they lack structure they lack boundaries so this is someone you know this might be a father figure or a patriarch or someone that you are partnered with. Could be you if you have any Aries Leo in your chart or Taurus. Gift you will receive. We have the hanged man in reverse. Okay, so when I see this card here, we're not taking action. We feel that we are, the other person should compromise. It's a very inflexible energy. So someone here is refusing to bend, refusing to bow. It is about, it's sort of um, a holier than thou energy. So someone may be placing a lot of emphasis on them being themselves, feeling like they're in the right, that they don't need to be flexible, that they need to think more about a situation. The thing is, is that this card is suggesting that you're already an enlightened being. You already know the answer. So in other words, this is procrastination. This is us thinking about something even more. Um, now, it could also be cancer that you have some brilliant idea here and you're not prepared to let it out into the world yet. Um, also, I'm seeing some of you releasing yourselves from a situation, for sure. Um, Maybe just because it's just been intolerable or that uh, you're dealing with someone who is just so controlling that you just can't deal with them. So, sorry about that light getting in the way. Cancer, a very interesting reading. Um, let me pull your romance angels. Sorry about the echo in the room here. Cancer sun signs. What is your advice for cancer sun signs? Okay, we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Pretty straightforward. Also, someone's being really clingy and really needy here. And the best thing you can do right now is put that extra attention and extra love on yourself. And of course, if you have small children, I mean, care for them as well, or elderly. But I'm really getting that... Um, have some self-respect, maybe. <laughs> okay.
Cancer moons. What is your guidance for Cancer moons? Cancer moons, they want you to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So they don't want you to lose faith. There's still hope. You may not feel like that at the time, but just also, if you can make an offering, do so. Um, it's a good time to be in your faith. That's all I can say about that. Just be in your faith. So, Cancer Rising. What is your guidance for Cancer Rising? Ooh, the cards are being all fussy. Cancer Risings. Passage for Cancer Risings, please. And we have children. So either someone's acting childish or could be someone has a lot of pets or someone really does have children here. Your love life is being affected by children. Maybe someone wants children and the other person doesn't. Maybe you work with children. Maybe you have children running around your house, as is the case for a lot of people right now. So yeah, Cancer Rising, you're dealing with some children this week, or you were in the past, and uh, you're still being affected by them. All right, guys, this is your weekly forecast. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, my information is below in the description box below this video. Thanks for tuning in, and have a safe week. Bye.